So here we have a mug slash thermos, and here we have like a normal mug. And I put these on top of green cubes and the green blanket behind the cubes. Here's what it looks like now. Okay, so now I made this video forever because he is selling uh, mugs, thermoses, things like that. And I wanted to make this video for him. So Everett, this video is for you and for anyone else who is selling mugs, thermoses, tumblers, stuff like that. Um, so let's make a really cool scene out of this. So we have these on top of cubes. We got one, two, three lights lighting this scene right here. And generally if you have, um, if you're using cubes for a floating effect, you want, I think at least two lights. Here we have one, two, three lights. And for the green blanket behind it, we have one, two big lights so that it's nice and evenly lit. Here's what the setup looks like. And okay, let's continue. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna do the calibration. I always just go to reset and that kind of, click on reset that kind of, assuming you're using a green screen, if you click reset, that kind of does all the calibration for you already. And now we're gonna do spill suppression enabled. See that removes all of that weird green screen spill, which makes it obvious it's in front of a green screen. And now, okay, I think that looks pretty decent. Uh, see the background that we're using? I made it specifically for this scene. If you go to AI generated backgrounds and then photo preview, scroll all the way down to Mount, I believe here, Mount Everest Camp 2. Sorry, that thumbnail, it should be another thumbnail. It's a little technical glitch right there. Anyways, so that's the background that we're using. And now, what if we add a cool like blizzard scene to this? So go to weather, click on blizzard, increase that snow. And then what you can do is to start, see, hold on, I'm, I only have two hands. Then you can take this and start pouring it in here. How cool is that? Okay, and put it back. Make sure it doesn't spill. And there you go. And then you have yourself a nice um, cool scene where you're pouring uh, you know, it's like you're camping at the top of Mount Everest. Um, another th another effect you can try, uh, if you go to food and drinks. Let's see, food and drinks. And then go to one of the steam effects, which I think can work pretty well here. Let's do looping steam rising four. kind of hard to see because the background itself is pretty light. Eh, see, you can see the steam rising from there. I think that can actually maybe even work better than that blizzard effect. Well, let's see what other steam effects we can get. Maybe looping steam rising five. Okay, I think that's maybe a little bit more noticeable. Maybe not. Okay, so I think the steam effect can work, um, though I'd probably choose a darker background because to make the steam effect more visible, but it can still work here. Um, let's try looping steam rising three. That's too, too much. Um, another effect you can try for this scene is maybe go to um, let's see, wanted to do, try lens flare. If you go to classic lens flares, what if you try bokeh one? Okay, that can kind of work. Give it kind of like a nice little lens flare when you're pouring it in there. Uh, maybe you can try a little bird effect. Some kind of animal. 
Let's see what can work here. And keep in mind, I know this video is pretty long, but I'm just showing like kind of my um, my workflow here. It's not, you know, within 10 minutes, you can make a pretty cool video. Um, I don't know, what if we try Eagle looking HD? We are on top of a mountain, and I think an ego up there can work. See, so ego looking HD, it's a pretty, uh, pretty large file. That's why it's gonna take like thirty seconds to load. But let's see what it looks like. Okay, the eagle's gonna pop up any second. Ah, huh. kind of looks cool. <laughs> okay, you can try that eagle effect there. I think that eagle looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe there's some more weather effects that we can use. Maybe snow falling. This one. Gives it more of like a Christmassy feel. Though I think the best effect we've had so far that fits a scene is kind of like this one, like a nice little simple snow scene. Keep the focus on the product in itself and then just pour it right in there. Okay, as always, I'm here if you have any questions.